look at the whole full spectrum. Like I feel like people are so stuck on this Cooper Rush five and one that they so spoiled with having a, you know a decent second quarterback. But you gotta you gotta realize what a second quarterback looks like. And to me, that's what he looks like. He had one bad game. True. Welcome to another session with them Dennis boys on this Whiskey Wednesday. You got your boy B. Debo. EJ. I'm going to start off this session, man, talking about this preseason finale that uh, had some positives and, of course, some negatives. But we're going to go through it anyway. What y'all boys thought about it? Uh, it was an overall good effort. Um you know, my, my bud threw five interceptions. You know, he he yeah, he, he had a lot of misreads. It's, that's that's about much as I can say about that. I, I just I was highly on it. Quarterbacks make mistakes too, but I still feel like he's still the number two guy in my book. I'm just I I don't care what nobody else say really. <laughs> well, you know, um, <laughs> we had some inside jokes about. <laughs> Mr. Lance from his weekend performance. But yeah. I do I do want to give props where props is due. Uh other than those five interceptions, I repeat, five interceptions. Uh he had some good moments. Um he's definitely a good mobile quarterback. Um, you know, give him a little bit more time to hone his passing skills. And uh, I didn't see a lot without besides besides the uh Five interceptions. I didn't see a lot wrong in his decision making. Uh, he had some good throws in there um, in some tight situations, which looked really good. And he had some throws in there in some tight situations that didn't necessarily look good. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, overall, if I had to rate him for that game, I'd probably give him a, maybe a C, a C plus. Um, That's nice of you. <clears throat> I know. You know. <laughs> I don't know how I really feel. <laughs> hey, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I mean, don't, I feel get, like, don't get it twisted now. He ain't do terrible. He just he just made some bad reads. Right. Well, that's indicative of a C plus, right? I mean, but your your number one quarterback does that too. So, but we're not gonna go to that because I mean, you know, we're trying to let the pass be the pass. You know, I'm not gonna bring up that Packers game, but we'll leave that alone. True, because he's been a non-entity up to this point in the off season, so. We're going to wait until right. he get up under that center. But <clears throat> back to Trey, I mean, he throughout the whole preseason, man, he showed some some special stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like some things that most quarterbacks can't do. Um, it's, it's obvious that he's a he's a gifted runner. Like he runs with ease. Um, he don't even have to turn on that, that, that extra gear. You know what I'm saying? Like he just quick, and when he makes his mind up, he out of there. Um, that, I mean, that was special. I mean, he had 11 rushes for 90 yards. That That's – that's special. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, I mean, the pass he did make, man, he was making some good reads, man. Just the interception, it was just, ugh, why you make that throw? You know what I'm saying? And having five times when he had a chance to actually win the game a few times, you know, in those situations. Uh, but he's young. But you can see the potential there. If he can ever get his mind right and um, get the passing precision down, the boy can be something special. Like he really could be a star in this league, man. I really think they invest their time and actually, you know, get him uh, acclimated to how the game is played and as a quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. And it, that, that one thing, you ain't got to teach that. When he got to pull it out, you let him know when he need to pull it down, and he gonna get something positive. Like, hey, how many times did he get hit behind the line beside the three sacks he had? Look at that, man. He he trying to get to it. But I, I like the fact that he's actually going through his progressions. 
and actually trying to do the right thing, you know what I'm saying? And instead of just straight run, you know, which you can do anytime you want. But for the most part, man, C is a it's a, it's a fair, fair, fair grade because C of plus. I gave him C plus. I gave him C plus. C, okay, C plus. Yeah, C plus. Even better. That's and for, and that's, I'm, I'm gonna that's go with that. For Devo. <laughs> yeah, man, it's hard to overlook five interceptions. Yeah, right. if he only had maybe two, they would they would have won easily. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, for real, for real. But I mean, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't also sneeze at the fact that I mean, he drove down the field and made those, turn, made those turnovers also. So uh -huh. you can't, oh, can't yeah. excuse that. Yeah, two so, of them was in the red zone. We were right there inside the yeah the ten. So it, and I and I tell people too, man, you have to you have to take the situation with a grain of salt because you, you can't say because he's throwing to number threes and and fours and sprinkle in with a number two like. So you're not really with the one. He's not with the one. So like you have to, you have to really assess the situation. Like you yeah. can't you can't just look at it like, well, he's he's doing this bad. But well, maybe the receiver wasn't open either. You know what I mean? There's a couple couple passes he missed to, you know, receivers that were open. He just it's just a misread. But oh, we saw some drops, some clear blatant right, drops. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but it been out throughout the whole season and from guys who ain't gonna be on the squad who ain't on the squad now. So, but so what I say is like you got to just. Look at the whole full spectrum. Like I feel like people are so stuck on this Cooper Rush five and one that they so spoiled with having a you know a decent second quarterback. But you gotta you gotta realize what a second quarterback looks like. And to me, that's what he looks like. Mm -hmm. He had one bad game. True, I agree with that. Um, any no other guy? Uh, go ahead. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Yeah. Any other standouts y'all want to discuss about in the preseason? I know I know Trey was the biggest name. Yeah. I mean, um, we still saw the same consistency from the defense and the defensive side of the ball. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that we can't forget about. Um, that's the most glaring positive thing that we've had throughout the preseason. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, hopefully them ones get in there. You know, they just take it up another level. Thanks. Um, you know, that, that deep and and the offensive line don't don't forget about them. True, they've done a great job too. So and you know these are your second and third strings. So um, I, I think defensively, you no, know, the only thing I would point out is the fact that the the D the D line didn't really do so well in terms of you know getting to the pass rush. Um, Booth, cornerback wise, was getting torched. Um, mm -hmm. Both they had traded for him. I don't know if this, you know, him trying to catch up to speed, you know, with the, you know, but he, he played. Have he played under Zimmerman? Did he play what now? Did he play under Zimmerman? I don't know. I don't know much about him. I have to do a I check. Know, I don't know anything about Booth. I know he's with the Vikings for for what a few years, but I'm not sure if he played under Zimmerman or not. Hmm. But um, so I don't know if he's trying to catch up to speed or to mm -hmm. why he was a step behind on certain passes, but. He was getting torched pretty bad, but other than other than that, defensively we look decent. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. Uh, somebody who stand out, Muhammad, man. Um, he got another sack. That's 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 good right there. I'm, I'm glad right. to see that. So that, that's I think he's gonna be a, a valuable piece for us, man. He, he's gonna do a, do a big thing. He's gonna allow uh, Micah to be more uh, valuable for us. I think he can be a good third down uh, edge guy for it and allow Micah to jump around on the defense and make the plays for us. Right. Devin, to answer your question, he did play for Zimmer. Okay. That makes sense to why we made that trade then. True. Right. Okay. Well, another thing I want to point out on offense that just popped out to me, man, this is telling to the offensive lines uh, progress they've made from last year. We had 246 rushing yards. Granted, you know, 90 of those were, you know, from um from Trey, but that's a lot of rushing yards for it is. anybody. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's very telling right there to me. And I think that line is gonna be the key to our success offensively this year because that run game should be reestablished like it used to be about four or five years ago. And um that's what we gotta hang our hat on this year. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yep, yep, yep. So Let's go to the guys who are no longer here. Some of the guys who are dropping them passes, man. Run down that list of them cuts. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Cuts list. All right. Let's see. We got uh, Deontay Burnett, mm -hmm. wide receiver. 
Mm -hmm. uh, C. Cole Cabral, mm. center. Mm -hmm. uh, defensive back Josh DeBerry. Mm -hmm. Linebacker Willie Harvey. Mm -hmm. Tight end Alec Holler. Mm. Mm. Wide receiver Cam Johnson. Um, linebacker Jason Johnson. Mm -hmm. Running back uh, Nathaniel uh, Beat. Yeah. Beat. Mm -hmm. uh, defensive back Eric Scott. Mm. Hmm. You saw something special about him you like? Scott had a pretty good preseason, man. Like he, he was flashing, bro. Like every game, I've seen him do some some special that stood out. Uh, I was kind of surprised. That. I mean, but we're so deep in that position, so I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, you know, Scott did deep last year, year also. Yeah, Thanks. but uh, but I think who beat him out was uh was the guy uh, number thirty three. Um, probably probably because of one of them extra safeties we kept. Could be. Could be. Yeah, yeah, but mm -hmm. I, I feel like a couple guys actually popped and made plays. You know those mm -hmm. big, you know, glamorous plays, which is the picks. Yeah. So I think that's probably why he didn't make enough flash plays, and you know we had we had a couple players make some flash plays. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, I don't know. Keep going down that list. I'll let you know if somebody else should have been on. All right, we got a uh, defensive tackle Albert mm -hmm. Huggins, mm -hmm. uh, wide receiver Tyron Johnson. Mm -hmm. Linebacker Damian Wilson. Mm -hmm. That was shocker. <sighs> Damian ain't no young pup no more, man. Oh, no, because let's see. Damian has played with uh, the Chiefs, Chiefs, the Packers, mm -hmm. and, uh, the Panthers. Oh, the answer did. The Jaguars. Mm -hmm. Damon, Damon been around for him. Been around, man. He, he had a good career, a good solid career, man. Special teams, you know, base, but you know, defensively, he, he was solid to me. He was kind of undersized linebacker, man. But he was yeah, I like him. Huh? He, I liked him when we initially had him. I, I mean, I like. Well, I say this is shocking to me, but true. I think we let him and uh, the man Hitchens go at the same time, and they both yeah, went he, later, uh, to, he was to a good the role team. player. He was a good role player. Yeah. Mm hmm. Wide receiver David Durden. Mm -hmm. uh, these last three were injured. Uh, David Durden, defensive end uh, William Fajoko. Mm -hmm. And uh, lastly, defensive end Darrell Johnson. All three of those were uh, injured. Okay. Yeah, if you ain't on the field, you can't earn a spot. Yeah. Especially not just time of year. Yeah, for real, for real. Um, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I uh, mean, there, uh, now on the flip side of that, there are some notable free agents out there. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you the top 10 of free agents currently available, but that by no means completes the list. But there's a, quite a few good names on here. Oh, yeah. The usually top is. The top 10 is uh, Juju Smith Schuster, mm -hmm. Xavier Howard, mm -hmm. Corey Davis. DJ Humphreys, Charles Leto, Adderie Jackson, David Bakhtari, Michael Thomas, Mason Cole, and Rasheem Green. That's the top ten of free agents that's out there right now. Out of out of them guys, man, um back to Ari probably been a good pickup. Maybe he got a lot of hard miles on him too. He's he's been injured and piling up on him. Um Dalvin Cook, us getting him in is gonna be a big is gonna be a big thing for us. That I think he's gonna be a good complimentary running back for, for our run. Hell, he could damn lead lead our, our team actually in rushing if, yeah. he, if he's still in good shape. Cook is number 21 on this list. He need to be higher. <laughs> long as he's healthy. Yeah. I think I think he's only down, he's only down that low on that list because of the injury. True. But and then he's turned off last year, it's just a bad situation. Yeah, if he's healthy, hey, man, he's a problem. What did I mean? Javon Curse is on this list. What did y'all feel about Javon Curse? Should he still be a cowboy or no? I like I like Javon. Mm -hmm. I feel like we probably will eventually go back to get him at some point. But 
J. Ron is solid. He's a very solid player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I personally don't think he's going to be around to go back and get. I think someone mm-hmm. will be involved. It could, it could be right, man, but being that, you know, he was already with us and then he was with, you know, the Vikings previously, um, it, it's, it's, it makes sense to bring him in here. I mean, I think I think last year he was just battling injuries all year. That's why he didn't That's pop it last the way he did, right. how you usually do. Um, but, if, I mean, if he's healthy, man, I, why not? I mean, I bring in on a solid bet like that, man, that that, that size and rangy and, and versatile, so. Uh, that could be nothing but upside, you know. He a veteran. He can he can you know coach up the the younger guys, man, and get them up to speed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, well, you know, it's still, even in that second tier of uh, quote unquote uh, free agents. So you got players like uh, Marcus Marcus Peters, uh, Micah Hyde. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we had Connor McGovern before. He's 31. He's still serviceable, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got Good Frank. Man. Yeah, you got. You are? Yeah, I'm good on him, man. I uh you got Frank Clark. Mm-hmm. We mentioned Dalvin Cook. You got Kareem Hunt. Um, you got Pat. Now, hey, now that Kareem Hunt. I done seen this boy in, in Cleveland and we saw him with the Chiefs. The boy got that go, man. Like he could really be good behind our line, man. Like for real, for real. I honestly, just because he's so he's younger than than Dalvin, I would value him more because he can catch that ball, and he he he's a, a special playmaker, man. Like he really was battling Chubb up there in, in Cleveland as best back, but they just started giving you know Chubb the full the full load. Since you feel that strongly about him, mm-hmm. how, why do you think he's not with those teams anymore? He has some some background issues. Okay. Yes. A video floating around, and you know, that's what it is. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> but the talent, but the talent is so glaring. That's why he keep getting chances. Like he, he got suspended for a little games, and it was that right back up in there. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he like that. He just got yeah. in but which we ain't heard nothing bad about him in a long time. Like he just been showing up doing his work. Uh, it's like it's like telling guy, well, you ain't robbed a bank in a long time, so uh, hey, okay. hey, we'll, give you, we'll give you a job. <laughs> But hey, I want to jump back to that first tier. The, the one name that did just hit me in my head, Mike Thomas. Yeah. I was About three, four years ago, Mike Thomas was one of the coldest receivers in the league. He was top two. He, he, was, he was the coldest receiver in the league. He, he was. Like, yeah, like 100, what, 50, 60 catches? Man, he was killing him. You couldn't mm-hmm. stop. Him. Man, you put him outside, opposite of uh of Thomas, and I mean, I mean, of uh, CD, and you can move, cook around, however. Man, that's talking about a first down stick moving cat. I mean, that's that's but that's a big question mark right there. Why hasn't he stuck with that kind because of talent? injury? Yeah, he had some bad ones, right? They got that contract, he had a bad thing, a foot or something. It was some kind of odd. Yeah, I mean, he probably ain't played but a couple games, yeah, in like three years. Mm-hmm. And then there was some uh, other business type issues going on with the contract and sitting out and all that stuff that kind of rubbed the Saints the wrong right. way and all that. Um, and then he wasn't getting along with the uh, new coaching staff and all that stuff, too, because he came in late, you know, after missing camp and all that stuff like that. And it was hard to get him in the mix. And they already kind of um moved on to uh, what's the young boy name from Ohio State? They got um, I can't think of name. They don't, oh, oh, Alave, yeah. So they they he they primary receiver now, he just leapfrogged him while he was out. So, so you think, um, uh, you think I need to call uh, Jerry and tell him to get his guy one year. Two million dollar contract. Bring him in for a workout, and if he look like his old self, absolutely, could be the missing piece. Could be like that. Now that right there can make Dak look like something he ain't never been. <laughs> Man, I thought I thought we weren't doing that today. Man, my fault. My fault. My fault. I edited it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all have is hard to break. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is, it is. But I mean, I think we overall we got a good solid uh, roster, man. Like anybody we bring in, veteran wise, I hope um, could be a, a plus for us and, and help us go along our route to hopefully the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, I mean, all the the, the, the pickups that we've made the last uh, say week or so, you know, have been great additions. You know, I, I thought they were good pickups. Actually, I'm surprised some of them still out there. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think they would be a great addition. And 
right now we're just trying to pad the stats. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I know it. But uh, I guess we can go and talk about our free agent who's no longer a free agent, Mr. C.D. Lamb. Getting that 130, what, 36 million, 100 guaranteed. It's for, for four years, 100 guaranteed. Mm hmm. That's that. That's I think he got is. a signing bonus also. Yeah, he got the highest signing bonus for a wide receiver. Yeah, mm -hmm. he sure did. Okay. So he got hooked up. He's deserving. For sure. Yeah, he's for deserving. Sure. I just hate it too. I, I, to get it too. I guess. You and better hope he keep trending in the direction he's trending. Right. He, now, now, don't get me wrong. Now, he definitely was the number two guy in the league for sure. But man, that's a lot of money for a receiver. That's the hey. game now, bro. You hey. gotta play, hey. pay to play. Hey. That's, that's a lot of responsibility to live up to, for sure. And I want to see it. He better yeah. live up to. He's it. sweating. He ain't blinking. And you get paid. <laughs> the expectations go a lot higher. Sure. Yeah. Hey, man. CD like that, man. I, I really believe in that boy, and I think he he going to keep going. I hope he don't get, you know, and ain't he going to say it. So hey, the, the, the expectations get high longer. And the, you hey, as long as this quarterback do his job, we all right. I that part. <laughs> There's no way he ate the damn ball. But, I mean, I'm just happy he got it. they got that done. I wish it was done sooner to get him in there to, to you know, get him reacclimated with, you know, Dak. But Dad get acclimated to him because he's gonna be acclimated to whoever quarterback out there. He's gonna be open. You just gotta get that shit to him. But, yeah, I don't even know about Jerry Jones playing them games. I don't know either, man. Like that day ain't make no sense, bro. Like, right. why are we going through all that? He could have been signed back in April. Exactly. But you just said the name. You said Jerry Jones. You can't you can't put Jerry Jones in the same sentence with making sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. That's the middle name. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. But Hey man, no, the he got the ball out. I hope it don't take it too long to get you know back in the sink of things. Yeah, uh, I really hope we can sign Dalvin Cook. I think that would that that's uh, would give us a different look, mm -hmm. uh, a different mindset, a, a different skill set than the running backs we already have, and we would just add to that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, this running back by committee thing. Um, I kind of like that. Mm. Um, you know, I think it would be tough for other defenses to stop us when you got three, four different running backs in the game mm. who have virtually different running styles. True. So, and they're all good, fast, hard running guys. So, you know, that's going to be a problem for some people. Mm -hmm. um, I do like that running back by committee thing that we're, we're getting ready to do. And we're yeah. going to probably be wide receiver by. Committee two <laughs> after the number one, but yeah, yeah. Um, but he, but behind that line, if that line is going to be refreshed and and looking like we did a few years ago, it, to me the running back really ain't gonna matter. But the fresh legs, if you keep me, you know, rotating in and out, they, they should be gashing on the record. You know what I'm saying? Like running game really should be our, our number one priority this year. I hope. Yeah, we should we should be getting you know. Uh, like third and short yardage, that kind of stuff. So um, that's what we're looking for out of them. Yeah, man. Hey, long as Zeke ain't out there, Long as Zeke ain't running out there like Troy Hamburg, we'll yeah. be all right. <laughs> Zeke going to be all right, man. Zeke, 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 Zeke's a professional. The head. He's a Dude. Yeah, we're going to Troy Hamburg this year. He's going to be out there looking like Joseph Randall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a blast from the past. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Boy, <laughs> hey, Joe, good night. Hey, boy, that, boy could have, that boy could have kept his head right. Boy. Man. He could have been, been the next one. It's for real. He could have been DeMarco Murray before we got DeMarco Murray. True. He would like that, man. That boy right. Yep. Mm -hmm. but, you know, hey. Oklahoma State finest. He was, he was a beast. He was, man. But. I guess on that note, man, we're going to wrap this thing up, man. This the season right around the corner. Y'all stay locked in with us. We're going to keep bringing this content to you and keep you abreast of what's going on out here in this cowboy street. But until next time, we'll holla at y'all.